behaviour change is hard. It might be that you want to give up smoking. You might want to lose a little bit of weight. Maybe you want to drink a little bit less alcohol. A lot of these behaviours are built up over a long period of time and they're what we call habits. Sometimes you need to break your habits and start again. But when it's your turn to do that, how do you find the motivation to change your behaviour? Well, you have to realise what your call to action is. I want to tell you a story about my dad. Dad's a typical Kiwi bloke. He's into rugby, racing and beer. For 30 years, Dad was a pool manager. At 10 o'clock every morning, he used to get into his car, drive 800 metres down the road and have a coffee and a muffin. Now a muffin, we'll, we'll get to those later. He'd get back in his car and drive all the way back to work. He did this for 30 years. Once he got into his 60s, he started to get a little bit overweight and have some heart troubles. Nothing would change Dad's behaviour. All the nagging in the world didn't seem to work. Well, a couple of years ago, Dad's first grandson was born. When, when Sam was born, I sent Dad a pedometer and an invitation to Sam's 21st birthday. Dad was furious with me because in the invitation to the 21st birthday, I said, Dad, unless you do something about your health, you're not going to be at Sam's 21st birthday. You're going to be in the ground by then. Mm. Now, he refused to talk to me for months, but slowly he started to change his behaviour. He put his pedometer on, and instead of driving the 800 metres down to the coffee shop for his coffee and his muffin, he started to walk that distance, and very slowly he changed his behaviour. Now, Dad's call to action was the birth of his first grandson. What's your call to action? What is it that's going to motivate you to change your behaviour and to keep it going when the going gets tough?